as where sometimes I'm terrified of my like choices sometimes like you know like you do something then later you regret it and it's like <sighs> dude like what is gonna happen now that I've maybe made a wrong decision like I was at my at my dad's my brother playing ping pong and stuff and it's like obviously like I didn't film it because it was like some intimate family gathering but on my way home walking right now I'm thinking oh I could have filmed some stuff there but then again I didn't even think of it it just goes to show how stupid regrets are like you think you had to do something there's actually no real way to do it because it's in the past so like why would you even think about it it's like walking around the phone. It just sounds like you're talking to yourself, but in truth, there's a purpose to it. So I can spend the rest of my night regretting that I sometimes look a little bit weird or a little bit crazy to people. But in truth, it, I think it makes me happy. I think it's a good idea, more or less. I think the worst idea ever when it comes to happiness is to regret something be it something that is you know harmless like like you know not filming something because I've had plenty of experience with that I didn't film and sometimes I regret it because I look back and I say I could have had all these experiences you know like immortalized in video form like obviously they're in my memory but you know, like, what if I forget? And then there's the more harmful, you know, regrets where it's like, okay, I'm embarrassing myself. And like, is it worth it, right? And someone said that being embarrassed is harmless, but like, I don't know, in the long run, if you embarrass yourself everywhere, then, you know, you're just embarrassing. And some things, some things the guilt is just more than others, other things. Like some things, like if you embarrass yourself hard, it may be easier to feel guilty about it. It may be easier to regret it. It may be easier to, um, you know, become paranoid. But on the other hand, what about the regret of not doing the thing? And I know that there's a lot of, there's a lot of like, like, what, you know, like, what's, what's the right thing to do? What's the wrong thing to do? People have different opinions. You can't please everyone. But some things are really obvious. Like, something, some things are really obvious. But even those things, even those things, there's confusion about it. So you never really know. You could just be walking around. You have a great idea. I think it's the best idea ever. Then you act on it and then it doesn't, it doesn't turn out well. Are you gonna regret having that idea? Are you gonna regret actually doing the idea? Or no, you know, it doesn't, even, it doesn't even matter. As long as after you feel good about it, you're able to keep doing good to the world, keep doing good to yourself too, you know, and, and you find a way to make it fit with everything else. If you can make it fit with everything else, then there's nothing. If you can make it fit with everything else, then there's nothing. Because it fits, it makes sense. It aligns with your purpose. It aligns with everyone, it aligns with people, it aligns with your future, it aligns with who you want it to be, who you want it to, to become. And I know I talk a lot about, you know, achieving something to become something. Like if for some reason, like, I wasn't already enough or other people are just aren't always already enough but the thing is that we keep repeating this over and over that you're always enough everybody says this on youtube in songs hold up i gotta i gotta tie my shoe people always repeat the same thing 
they always repeat they always repeat where where we're supposed to go as, as human and these things aren't that straightforward sometimes they're just very much you know, confusing but they're difficult to do but at the end of the day what we're talking about is not regretting not doing you know bad things and transforming yourself to the person that you want to become the way you want to become it without too many outside influences keep your keep your heart in the right place stay aligned with the line that you drew for yourself that you've drawn for yourself and stick to it until the end of time now I was gonna stop filming but I realized that it's probably a better idea to just document this walk because I'm extremely bored and it's extremely cold but nothing's gonna happen like it's weird it's like everything always happens when you're not filming and then when you're filming it's like it's always a show you know, people put on a face and I don't know partly like I probably do too like I'm not really talking to anyone right now I'm literally talking to myself hoping that somebody's gonna watch this later I mean it makes such a big difference when there's like people that watch that like a lot of people then you know you gotta like make an effort but at the beginning like right now I've never felt so, so calm about literally just talking and spilling my heart no matter who actually stumbles upon the video so at the end of the day it doesn't really matter who watches as long as it's good. And when it comes to embarrassment, I don't even care. Because I've been embarrassed more times than you could ever imagine. But you don't know that. Because you weren't there being, like, seeing my embarrassment. So it's not really embarrassing. Because, uh, oh, my mom's boyfriend is here. It's not really embarrassing if like nobody actually sees it but the people who are there even if it's a hundred people like you see a video with a hundred views nobody gives a damn anyway i'm home thanks for being with me on my walk home i'll see you later peace